हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू फेयर्स क्लाउ लर्न टू लीड गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल दी स्टूडेंट्स एज यू नो वी ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड दी फेब्रेरी मंथ टॉपिक वाइज करंट फेयर एंड वी ऑलरेडी कवर्ड सो मेनी टॉपिक्स बट टुडे टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज गवर्नमेंट स्कीम्स एंड इंडेक्स वी विल कवर टू टॉपिक्स अंडर वन वीडियो बिकॉज क्वेश्चन आर लेस वी विल कवर टू क्वेश्चन अंडर दी गवर्नमेंट स्कीम्स एंड फोर क्वेश्चन अंडर दी इंडेक्स सेक्शन वॉच दिस वीडियो वेरी केयरफुली बिकॉज दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर एवरी टाइप ऑफ एग्जाम एंड वॉच टिल लास्ट But first of all, you have to download our application Careers Cloud from the Google Play Store. After that, log in with your email ID. Then click on this Crack Current Affairs section to subscribe our Current Affairs for one year as well as for two years. Both the subscription prices are very much low. But the most important thing, what we are covering under this one year and the two year subscription, we are providing you daily section. In the daily section, you will receive three things. One is the detailed Current Affair. Second is the question and answer format of Current Affairs. But both will be provided in the form of PDF or in the form of ebook. And third is the quiz section and this can be attempted only on our application on daily basis next is the weekly section again we are providing three things one is the detail current fair second is the question and answer format but both things will be provided in the pdf format and third is the quiz section which you can attempt on our application on weekly basis next is the monthly section and in the monthly section we are providing you four type of pdfs one is the detail current fair pdf which is known as study pdf next all the detail current affairs will be converted in the form of question and answer that's why it is known as question and answer pdf so that you can revise all the current affairs in the question and answer format next is the best 100 current affairs will be provided that is also provided in the form of question and answer and last is the pocket pdf it means one liner two liner or the three liners current affair will be provided to you so that you can revise these current affairs very quickly before your exam next is topic wise current fair this is very important section because we are providing 20 most important topic wise pdf if you want to revise one or two particular topics then you can use this topic wise pdf if you are a banking student then we are providing three things one is detail second is question and answer format of current affairs but only related to banking and economy and third is the quiz section it is also only related to banking and economy and you can attempt this quiz section only on our application on monthly basis next is exam pdf if you want to cover all the current affairs before your exam of particular year then you can use this exam pdf next is special current affairs section in the special current affairs we are providing you budget and economics survey two things we are providing one is detail budget and economics survey second is question and answer format of budget and economics survey it means you can recall that examiner can make these type of questions from budget and economics survey If you are preparing for your respective state exam, then we are also providing state current affairs, and we are covering every state and union territory. So all these things comes under only one subscription. First of all, you have to just download our application Careers Cloud, then click on this Crack Current Affairs section, and you can subscribe for one year as well as for two years. And if you want ten percent extra discount, then you can use this code ASH one zero. If you have any query, then you can email us on this email ID or you can call us on this number. Let's start the February month's topic wise current fair and today topic of discussions are two one is government schemes and second is index two questions under the government schemes and four under the index and first topic is government schemes and here is the first question which state government has recently launched a largely behna scheme largely behna scheme to provide 1000 rupees per month to the women from financially poor backgrounds mark this question in the very important section remember the name of this scheme lardli behna and this is recently started by the madhya pradesh government answer of this question is 4 so shivra singh chauhan ji the chief minister of madhya pradesh launched a new scheme which is lardli behna to provide 1000 rupees per month to the women from financially poor background in the madhya pradesh area and chief minister noted that a sum of rupees 60000 crore will be spent on this scheme over a period of 5 years 5 years and the lardli behna scheme for the poor women from lower and the middle class of all sections on the line of the lardli lakshmi scheme and under this scheme women will get financial assistance of rupees 12000 per year like 1000 rupees per month and the announcement was made during a program on the banks of the narmada river in narmadapuram in madhya pradesh and he also started that government is set to construct a narmada corridor and narmada lok on the line of the mahakal lok at the mahankaleshwar temple in the ujjain area so just remember this is lardli behna scheme and it is on the same line of the lardli lakshmi scheme moving to next question 
नेम द स्टेट दैट हैज रिसेंटली अप्रूव द गाइडलाइंस फॉर मुख्यमंत्री सुख आश्रय योजना फॉर ऑर्फन स्पेशली एबल चिल्ड्रन डेस्टिट्यूट वुमेन एंड सीनियर सिटीजन सो दिस इज मुख्यमंत्री सुख आश्रय योजना and name of this state is himachal pradesh answer of this question is 4 so on the 16th of february 2023 the second meeting of the himachal pradesh cabinet chaired by the chief minister sukhvinder singh sukhu ji sukhvinder singh sukhu ji approved the guidelines for the mukhya mantri sukh aashray yojana from the word sukhu you can remember sukh and from sukhu you can remember this is himachal pradesh and uh, this will cover all the orphans specially able children destitute women and the senior citizen and the chief minister also noted that the orphan children referred to as the children of the state will be adopted by the government and uh, in january 2023 chief minister also launched the mukhya mantri sukh aashray yojana which is also known as chief minister sukh aashray sahayata kosh with a total outlay of 101 crore for the orphans only for the orphans and the cabinet also decided that one orphan children attaining the age of 18 years will be provided board and lodging in after care institutions till they attain the age of 27 this is again very important for the orphans moving to our next section next is index section we will cover four questions and here is the first question As of February 2023 the National Accreditation System of India under the Quality Council of India was ranked globally in the Global Quality Infrastructure Index 2021 so this question is very important because we are talking about Global Quality Infrastructure Index of 2021 so the National Accreditation System of India under the Quality Council of India was ranked 5th answer of this question is 1 globally in the global quality infrastructure index of 2021 and india's overall quality infrastructure system ranking continues to be in the top 10 unchanged from the 2020 ranking and uh, already in the 2020 india was at the 10th position 10th position so india's total score is 0.932 but in 2020 india score was 0.95 Six. Now it is zero point nine three two. But India's rank accreditation was improved earlier. It was seventh. Now it is fifth. So just remember from this slide. But this question is very important. Move into next question. Which of the following points is or are correct with respect to the Financial Times Global MBA Ranking two thousand twenty three released in the month of February two thousand twenty three? This is Financial Times Global Masters of Business Administration Ranking 2023. So mark this question in the very important section. So let's read out the statement and find out which is correct. The Indian School of Business ranked first among the Indian B schools as of February 13, 2023. So according to the Financial Times Global MBA Ranking, the postgraduate program from the Indian School of Business has retained its Uh, its prominence among indian b schools and it is the only indian b schools to rank top 50 globally and fourth in the asia but this statement is fully not true so first is wrong statement why because indian school of business dropped to 39th rank 39th rank not 23rd rank 39th rank in the world earlier in 2022 the rank was 32nd and in 2021 the rank was 23rd so indian school of business dropped to 39th rank in the year of 2023 and it is currently ranked 6th in the asia this statement is also wrong here so 6th in the asia so indian school of business has uh, campuses in the hyderabad and the mohali area in the punjab area also and in terms of research ranking indian school of business ranked first in the india and 61st globally sporting its goal to being a research led management constitution so first statement is wrong but first statement is very important indian school of business ranked first among the indian b school this is true but is the only indian b school to rank 39th in the top 50 globally and 6th in the asia this is true next is columbia business school from the united states of america has secured the first rank in the top 5 global b schools on the list this statement is true statement next is in addition to indian school of business the financial times top 100 list includes five indian institutes of management like i am mahmedabad i am bengaluru I am Calcutta I am Indore and I am Lucknow this statement is also true statement because I am Bengaluru uh, was uh, 
वेर इज आई एम बेंगलुरु दिस इज आई एम बेंगलुरु आई एम बेंगलुरु रैंक्ड ऑन दी फिफ्टी सेकेंड पोजिशन आई एम कलकत्ता रैंक्ड ऑन दी सेवेंटी सिक्स पोजिशन आई एम इंदौर वेर इज आई एम इंदौर हेयर आई एम इंदौर रैंक्ड ऑन दी एटी नाइन्थ पोजिशन एंड आई एम लखनऊ रैंक्ड ऑन दी नाइन्टी एथ पोजिशन एंड आई एम अहमदाबाद वॉज रैंक्ड ऑन दी फिफ्टी फर्स्ट पोजिशन सो इट मीन्स Uh, the statements which are true like both 2 and 3 so answer of this question is 4 moving to next question as per the global entrepreneurship monitor and the national entrepreneurship context index of 2020 to 23 report released in the month of february 2023 what is india's rank out of 51 countries in terms of having a high quality entrepreneur ecosystem mark this question in the very important section but remember from this slide and india's rank is fourth very good rank so according to the global entrepreneurship monitor or gem and the national entrepreneurship context index of 2020 to 23 and uh, uh, this report is named as adapting to a new normal india is ranked fourth out of 51 countries in terms of having a high quality entrepreneur ecosystem and india's most recent score is 6.1 demonstrates an overall improvement in the nation's entrepreneur environment over time and this is a significant improvement over the 2021 ranking of 16th overall india's rank in 2021 was 16th and india's score in 2021 was 5.0 barely significant or barely sufficient so just remember we have improved so much because in 2020 india's score was 6.0 and india's rank was fourth also and in 2019 india's score was 5.8 and india's rank was sixth but now india's score was also improved because now india's score is 6.1 but rank is fourth this is very important and the united arab emirates united arab emirates saudi arabia taiwan are the top 3 countries in the gem or you can say this is the global entrepreneurship monitor index of 2020 to 23 global report move into next question in the oecd services trade restrictiveness index stri policy trends up to 2023 report which is released in february month of 2023 india secured dash rank among the 50 countries what is india's rank india's rank was 47th and which country tops this index this index is topped by japan so answer of this question is 47th and japan second is the answer so india's rank in the 47th in the oecd organization for economic cooperation and development report titled as oecd services trade restrictiveness index policy trends up to 2023 which highlights the key outcomes of the 2022 organization for economic and cooperation and development stri and india's rank of 47 among the 50 country shows the presence of more market restrictions in the country and uh, oecd stri index covers 38 members as well as the brazil china and india and indonesia kazakhstan thailand vietnam and other countries and india's rank is 47th and the top country is japan second rank goes to united kingdom so this is all for today please like share and subscribe our channel and thank you for watching this video and you can subscribe our all platforms like facebook instagram linkedin and telegram channel all the official notifications delivered through the telegram channel so just subscribe from the description box link thank you guys take care and bye bye